Howdy folks! This week I've got this little, lovely little plank of wood and somebody I'd like to introduce you to. Don't be shy. Here's my husband. He's actually the one who routed out this plaque, but I didn't give him a mic and those of you who know my husband Ben know why. <laughs> but yes, he routed out these letters and the idea being that we are going to put some resin in there. And my husband is relatively new to woodwork and we have never used resin before, so this is a bit of an experiment for us both. And after lots and lots and lots of mixing, lots of mixing, we're finally going to put some dye in. And I've gone for some uh, acrylic ink. It's the De La Rowney Pearlescent FW ink and I decided to just put a full pipette in. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, like the camera angle's not great, but mixing it was actually really satisfying. So I don't know what types of inks work best with resin, but this worked fairly well. So after all that mixing, it was finally time to do that satisfying pour. And yeah, I think you'll agree. It, it looks quite nice when you're pouring it. <laughs> I don't know, I find it really satisfying. We both were kind of nervous at this stage because we didn't want to muck it up. Um, but yeah. Just it. We've been in lockdown and just before lockdown my husband got quite interested in woodworking so he'd never used a router before or router wherever you're from <laughs> um, before he'd, he'd done this sign so I think he did a really good job. And we decided to make a little plaque for our little boy. We underestimated how much resin we'd use so we mixed a bit more off camera but this was what it was like when it finally dried or cured rather and now it was my turn to try not to ruin it <laughs> so I've got my Pebeo acrylics again and what I was gonna do is paint a bit of a space scene because we thought this green was kind of a good alien green so I mixed together um, a pinky purple blue and black and I'm just using this bulb mirror uh, it's a flat brush again I use cheap art supplies and cheap paint brushes but I really like them so <laughs> there's that these ones are from the works but yeah mixing equal parts of those colors gets just a nice backgroundy space color that's not black it looks a lot darker on camera than it is actually it's kind of like a well a bluey purpley black um, but it's a good space color and I really like these um, Pebeo or PBO paints not quite sure how to pronounce them I've used them before on my channel and I've often said like they're about two pound a tube and they go really far so you yeah, know they're great so I did a couple of coats of that colour and then I brought out the pearlescent FW ink. So this is the same type of ink that I used in the resin. But I wanted to do a bit of a sponge painted galaxy and I've never done this before so I was nervous. This whole project for the two of us was quite nerve wracking because we wanted to make something for our son's birthday. So it was his birthday on the 13th of April, his first birthday, and we wanted him to have a homemade gift from us. So that's why we decided to do this. We, we've actually got another one in the works that we were hoping to have done for his birthday, but we overestimated how much time we'd have. So this was kind of our backup plan. Um, so hopefully he'll have a, a bigger project for Christmas this year. But yes, after sponging on lots of these colours it was starting to look quite funky I love the pearlescent inks they just they work so well for a galaxy because you've got that sparkle um, but unfortunately it is a messy job <laughs> and uh, I had to wash my hands quite a few times and then had to wash up the letters pretty much so the nice thing about working with this um, resin is that you can just wipe anything off there's a little bit on that D there and I think um, one of the other letters at the back that's um, milliput, so that's kind of like a, a resin clay, I suppose, um, that you mix mix together two parts like you do with resin um, and you can it forms it like a clay that's got a similar consistency to blue tack, so it's quite hard to do a lot of detail with, but we'd, we had some chipping in the wood there, so we wanted to make sure that the letters were separated. And then I had to do the fun thing of making myself more messy and flicking on a load of stars. <laughs> After I'd just washed my hands, I was like, oh well. But if I hadn't have washed my hands, we'd have had muddy stars and nobody wants that. But yeah, this is really fun to do. If you haven't done this before, I recommend. <laughs> And after I was satisfied and had cleaned my hands again, 
I decided I'd put a little alien on the bottom. So we'd had a conversation about this and there was a bit of a misunderstanding on my part. Ben had said um, a little green alien like the ones from Toy Story. So I thought, oh, he wants a Toy Story alien down there. And apparently, no, he didn't. He just wanted a little green alien. So I ended up changing that a little bit. Um, and I think it, it is off camera, so apologies for that. But yes, I used my Artistro paint pens for this one. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I'd already changed the, the alien there. Instead of having three eyes in a row, he's got one on an antenna and um, is a little bit goofier. And I think I even changed, yeah, I changed his spacesuit to match his spaceship. So, inspired by the little alien, but not the little aliens from Toy Story. <laughs> and then finally I had to paint the sides black because it just looked odd. <laughs> I did toy with the idea of putting like my liquid chrome around the edges, but I left it as is. And so this was the final sign. It was um, quite a quick project to paint, but obviously there was a lot of time went into Ben carving out the letters and also doing the um, the rooting around the edges as well. So, And it sparkles, which is great because, you know, space is sparkly. Oh, I did off camera go round the letters with a black paint pen as well, just to kind of neaten up the edges a bit more. It, you really can't notice it though. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, oh well, never mind. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this project. Sorry, um, it took a while. I got filthy again somehow. It's great. Um, but yes, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more projects with me and my husband as he's quite enjoying woodworking in lockdown. <laughs> and if you want to subscribe to the channel and stick around, I'll love you forever. Don't forget to ring the notification bell as well. Until then, guys, stay safe and I will see you next time. Bye.